We are on the eve of the technological revolution. Why can't we use these machines here at home? Why is America so robophobic? We work with a lot of very top-notch Hollywood and also video game designers from all over the world, and we zeroed in in, in this design that is modern, never seen before, but also we keep the identity of the character, and I think it's cool as hell. What kind of suit is this? It's not a suit, Alex. It's you. People really don't know what they want until you show it to them. Make them more tactical. Make them look, uh, let's go with black. The black suit is the second iteration of the suit that we see within the movie. The first one being the original silver suit, reimagined. Your armor, state of the art, but not invulnerable. As it refined, it became sleeker, it became glossy, it became black. This, my friends, is the future of American justice. We had a number of test fittings with Joel, and it was kind of walking the balance between getting this to be something scary, but at the same time, you want it to be friendly enough that people are rooting for this guy. The revolution begins right now with Detective Alex Murphy. Joel is stuck in this big black suit all day long. That suit, they do not make it easy, and I can't imagine it breathes. He really knew how to kind of transcend it. The way I moved in a suit, I did want to give it something a little bit more robotic. So when I was walking, I'd turn my head first and then the shoulders afterwards. So the idea is that he's a superhuman and has very fluid motion. Out of all the action scenes that I've done throughout my career, this was the most fun. We had great stunt coordinators and, and great stunt guys. And you know, while you're acting, you know, the suit is very helpful. It creates 80% of the character on its own. In between takes, when you're trying to hang out and just talk, you're constantly uncomfortable, but it completely helped my character. 